For this project, we're gonna use a Dollar Tree planter, some popsicle sticks, and pencil and a scissors. We're gonna measure the length of the planter from Dollar Tree Market and cut it. Then we're gonna do the same thing for a lot more popsicle sticks. I just, I didn't have a number in mind, I just like took a few and cut it um, into measurement. After doing that, I grouped them into four, four different sets, all of them cut at the same length. Next, I am using the Waverly Chalk paint in white and the antique wax color, mixing them together. So I applied white first and then the antique wax to get a very lighter wood shade and then I do the same thing for all the other but make it a little darker with each set so that I have four different shades of wood from lightest to dark then I am just going to stick those popsicle sticks onto the planter I take the lightest color first next I'm gonna take one shade darker than that and stick it and I'm gonna do this around the planter just take for this project I'm using a Rust-Oleum metallic gold paint and a clay pot I am spray painting it around to get a good nice coat. I use two coats of this spray paint. Next I'm going to use the Waverly chalk paint in ink or black color and I am going to do a design. Here I am using some leaves and stems as a design because it's a pot but you can do whatever you feel like I'm just freehanding this I do the same design around doing bigger leaves smaller leaves and that's it your pot is ready it's very easy hope you all try it All right, for the next one, I'm using a green plastic pot and Waverly chalk paint in ink color, painting it in black. And then I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in white and doing a simple mud cloth print. I saw on Pinterest these beautiful mud cloth prints and I'm in love with it. So I thought I'll just do a custom one for myself. So it's really easy, I'm freehanding it. Um, I'm just doing whatever print comes to my mind and just going for it. So do try this. It's very simple and you get your own custom made pots which all look different but beautiful. You can do this with different colors that suit your decor theme. Um, mine is more of a black and white theme and I love it so here it is uh, so I didn't want it to be perfect I love the imperfect looking mud cloth print so I just freehanded all of these but if you want it to be perfect you can use a, a scale or some tapes to do something really perfect looking and beautiful I love it just like this
here is the finished look. Hope you guys liked it and enjoyed this video. It is very easy to make and you can make it according to the vibe you have going at your place. You can change up the colors. So do comment below which of the pots you liked the most. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The IDs are on the screen. If you guys made it till here, thank you so much for watching my review. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!